so again, it's it's Ukrainian President Zelensky, and he's speaking to the leaders of the Azov Battalion. It's in 2019. Take a look. Memorandum. <laughs> Я с тобой? Не я с вами, а все люди, которые в этом процессе, те, которым были за Украину. Я как капитуляция, прошу так. Формализация. Я пришел, я пришел к тебе сказал, вы оружие вывезете, а ты меня переводишь стрелки. Так я вам второй момент уже озвучу, я вас услышу, вы Смотри, сказали. Ты мне вообще не можешь никакие ультиматумы озвучивать, Денис, ты не понял. Так я вам, я ультиматум... Приш... Так я вам ультиматум, я говорю, это были люди. Нам за эти оружие забрать? Так, при чем здесь? Я, я вам не говорю понимаю, за чем мы момент. закончим сейчас разговор. Так мы нормально общаемся. Нормально ну так и давай нормально общаться. Ну никто же вас не что? пытается макнуть Ничто. никуда. Вам передали то, что происходило в Украине, то, что кто люди еще по передал? Украине. Я же тебе говорю, ты мне скажи, Так кто? я вам говорю, по Украине были акции. Денис, по Украине вчера прошел дождь, вот что я слышу. Ну, я, говорю, я вам рассказываю о том, что происходило. Где акции? Кто мне что передал? Я говорю, давай, что так ты... вот я вам и говорю, что люди... Хотят встречи с вами. Какие люди? Нет, которые фами... вышли на мероприятие под удар. Фамилию ты можешь мне сказать или нет? Ты что ну, ты в самом деле? Ну, время... хотите Весь Плеханов, день... Кухарчук, ну это по разным областям. Ну, это Денис, это так же так не делается. Ну так не, ну так не, спросили еще, я подожди, передал. Вышел стадник вам, Николай да. Ну, Вышел. наш губернатор. Передал Сталина. письмо. Да, ну, что вы ему там передали? Вернее, вы ему передали. Да, конечно, для президента. Ну, он мне передал, вот. я прочитаю. Ну, да. Вы же спросили, что там было. Я вам и рассказываю, что, собственно, в Денис, этом письме. Вы же ладно, сами спросили Денис, только послушай, что. Послушай, да. я президент этой страны. Конечно. Мне 42 -го. Я ж не лох. Я тебе пришел и сказал, оружие уберите. А ты меня не переводи на акции. Причем, я, дочь, мы с вами да. уже поговорили, вы потом Я не поговорил с тобой, я хотел увидеть в глазах понимание. Ну. А увидел парня, который решил, что перед ним какой-то лопух стоит и переводишь меня на другую тему. Так какая другая тема? Мы уже этот момент обсудили, я вам следующий мы сказал нет. еще один я момент. Я услышал, можно? что окей, ты мне скажи ок, все. Ну так у нас нет оружия в руках. Ну, нет, что? это значит, ты меня не услышишь. Ну слушайте. Парни, это я вам сейчас сказал серьезно. I mean, that, that really says it all, right? You can see who's running the show, it's not Zelensky. When people say like, oh... The Nazis in Ukraine, the Azov Battalion, it's just a tiny group of people. They're not, they're not important. Not, that's not true, because first of all, they, they always try to justify them being incorporated into the Ukrainian National Guard by saying they're good fighters. So obviously they're effective on the battlefield. The idea that just because they're numerically inferior to other battalions, that they are somehow irrelevant is obviously untrue, because they not only have military, uh, they're not only important on the battlefield, but also politically speaking. You can see how the guy is not really running the show. He's the president and they're just kind of like laughing at him. Just earlier, you had Zelensky. He was invited onto Fox News and asked about the Azov Battalion. Let me play uh, that clip and let's see what he had to say in response. I want to have, have you clear something up for us. Uh, and this is these reports about the Azov Battalion that is said to be Nazi affiliated organization operating as a militia in your country, uh, said to be committing their own atrocities. What should Americans know about that unit, about those reports? So Azov was one of those many battalions. They are what they are. They were defending our country. And later, I want to explain to you, everything uh, from uh, all the components of those volunteer battalions later uh, were um, incorporated into the, the military of Ukraine. Those uh, Azov uh, fighters are no longer self-established uh, uh, group. They are a component of the Ukrainian military. Back in 2014, there were situations when our volunteers were uh, encircled, and some of them did violate laws, uh, laws of Ukraine. And they actually were taken to court and got uh, prison sentences. So law is above all. You can see how so many people, including, including Zelensky himself, they are apparently just tolerating these Nazis like, uh, yeah, well, you know, we can't help it. Again, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know what to make of Zelensky. You know, Scott, w when he was on the other day, he said that he doesn't think Zelensky is a bad guy. He's just real in a really crappy position. The more I think about that, the more I see how true that is. This guy is stuck between Nazis on one side, you know, NATO over there, Russia over here. 
Wow. I mean, I, I really would not like to be in his shoes. Remember, this guy's a comedian. Like, <laughs> you know, even if he weren't, I mean, this is just a really crappy position to be in right now. Uh, does that excuse what he just said about like, oh, well, you know, they are what they are. Like as if, you know, it's <laughs> they they have bad sleeping habits or something. You know, they, they eat too much chocolate. Like, <laughs> oh, they're, they're just, yeah, it's just Nazis being Nazis. I mean, you could have at least have been been a bit more pronounced. Although at the same time, given given the video that I just showed you, uh, it doesn't really look like he has much of a say in things. It's it's shocking. Um, and I'm showing you this not to, you know, reprimand or rebuke Zelensky, but rather to show you that this myth that these Nazis in Ukraine are just some insignificant fringe group. I mean, numerically perhaps, but in practice. Politically, militarily, certainly not. They, they wield a lot of influence. Uh, they are playing a major role in what's happening now and has been happening for the last, you know, um, close to a decade, right? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't negate that and dismiss it or minimize it as some kind of, oh, it's just like, you know, don't, don't focus on those. No, uh, they said the same thing about the terrorists in Syria. Oh, it's just a few crazy extremists. You know, most of them are moderate rebels. Turns out it's a lie. Uh, you know, what ended up happening is basically... They were incorporating the other so-called moderate rebels into the more hardcore uh, uh, groups, the extremist groups, and, and or just killing the so-called moderates. So in the end, it was like, you know, survival of the fittest, let them massacre each other. And of course, the ones that come out on top are the extremists. So we hear the same thing in Ukraine, like, oh, yeah, they're Nazis, but they're good fighters. I don't care how good they are. Like, <laughs> I don't want no Nazi shit. But that's their excuse. So obviously they are effective on the battlefield. And you can see very clearly politically, they just speak to the president like he's a fucking mope. Like he's a dweeb. Like he's some twat. They, 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 you saw that video. They're like talking down to him, like laughing in his face. 